Good evening everyone, this is Sabrina. This tutorial is really to help out a lovely YouTuber. Uh, I think her name on there is Ladybug Laboratory. So head over to her channel and she will teach you exactly how to do this mitered square blanket, which is absolutely amazing. She teaches you how to do the main squares and also the side triangles like this for left and right side triangles. But it, it appears that she got stuck and didn't really know how to do the top and bottom uh, triangles. So I thought I'd help her out because I figured it out and I will show you here. So here are the triangles right here and also I thought it was really nice to keep in pattern with the ridges to carry on the line. I think it's pretty neat and um, I'm hoping she will be very pleased with that. Took me ages to figure it out. So um, this is for her especially. Uh, her name is Lily and her channel is Ladybug Laboratory. Okay, so, uh, oh, the colors I've used for this blanket because some people do ask. So it's that one from New Fashion. It's double knit. Uh, I don't know what that color is called. There is no color name for it exactly. It's just, there we are. There's a shade number. I don't know if you can see it. The camera will not focus. It's annoying. Okay, well the shade is 2F79. It's a beautiful baby pink and the other one is this one for the contrasting color which is just as nice um, and the color code is just 732 there we are these are the colors that I've used and I will show you how to make one of those and this will work for top and bottom Okay, so to start off, um, oh, just thought I'd mention that with my DK, I'm using a 4 millimeter needle. Okay, so to start off, just as she starts all her, all her squares or triangles, you have to start with the um, contrasting color. So you have to pick up all your stitches with the contrasting color. So I know that she works with 49 stitches, but I'm only working with 35. So I'm going to pick up all the stitches and I'll meet you um, at the end. So now that we have our 35 stitches right here, we will go to the next row. And just like she instructs as usual, we have to knit all the way across. So uh, this isn't easy. I've never really done any tutorials like this. So <laughs> bear with me, please. So I think to stand will be easier. OK. So you have to skip the first stitch. And then you knit all the way across. All the way across all the stitches until you get to the last stitch. So I think I'll carry on the rest of the row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. So I am now at the last stitch. And just like Lily explains in her video, you have to now knit the last stitch in the back loop. So through the back loop. And that's it. 
I am now ready to cut this yarn. And carry on with the rest. So now we have to pick up the main color and carry on with this um, half triangle. Well, just a triangle, really. So um, there's going to be a lot of... I'm trying to know where to focus here. I think that's it. I need to stand like that to make this tutorial. This is harder than I thought. Okay, there'll be a lot of uh, decreases every two rows. So we start off by knitting two together through the back loop. So I will try and show you. Through the back loop, we pick two stitches together like so and you knit them just like so and then you have to knit 14 stitches I am working on a basis of 35 stitches okay so 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And now we have to do an increase just like Lily explained in her video. So we have to um, put two stitches from the left needle onto the right needle. We don't knit them, we just put them onto the right needle. Then we knit the next stitch and what we do with them, two stitches from the right needle, we pass them over that stitch and that creates a decrease. So now we knit 14 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and we knit two together. There we are. There's the first row achieved. Next row, we will slip one, knit 14, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And now we per one, which is what creates the ridge, and we knit fourteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we actually slip the last stitch. So before we slip the last stitch, you have to yarn your you have to yarn or your yarn over just like that, and then you slip the last stitch. You don't knit it, you just slip it. And that sets the whole pattern really. Next row, we will knit together, we will knit two together, sorry, through the back loop, just like so. Oops. And now we knit 12. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and now we do the decrease at the center. So we 
slip over two stitches to the right needle we knit the next stitch and then we pass them two slip stitches over back to that stitch that we just knitted just like so and then we knit 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then we knit two together next row it's really really simple next row we slip one stitch knit 12 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then we purl one stitch then we knit 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 put your yarn forward and slip the last one I will work another two rows so to begin this next row we will knit two stitches together through the back loop just like so and now because the stitches are decreasing we will knit 10 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now we need to do the center decrease so we slip two stitches onto the right needle and we knit the next stitch and we pass them skip stitches back over that left needle well no sorry just over that stitch that we knitted apologies for this with these uh, instructions but I'm really new at this okay so now we knit 10 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we knit two stitches together so the next row you will slip one stitch knit 10 stitches purl one stitch knit 10 stitches and then uh, slip just slip the last stitch and the next row instead of knitting 10 stitches you will knit 8 stitches and so on and so forth and now I, I will do another few rows and I will meet you back shortly okay so I'm nearly at the end of this triangle and you can see how it's really starting to take shape can't you so I'm gonna try and finish this triangle with you there isn't much to do anymore we are nearly done and what I will do after this is I will actually um, post the written instructions in the description box below as well as Ladybug Laboratory um, links to her channel okay so to complete this triangle we will continue this decrease by decreasing these two stitches here so we need two stitches together through the back loop and now we knit two stitches and we carry on with a center decrease by slipping these two stitches knitting the next one and passing over the skip stitches just like so and then knit two stitches and knit two stitches together like that next row
we will skip the first stitch knit two stitches purl one knit two stitches and skip the last stitch next row we will knit two together through the back loop like that and then do a center decrease and finally we knit two stitches so now we're nearly at the end we've got three stitches left so turn over and we skip the first stitch as usual purl one and we have to skip the last stitch just like so and I will explain why in an instant then what we do is we just do a regular um, center decrease to actually end the whole thing so um, do this center decrease as usual and we're done this is it it's done now so I will now show you what to do pull the yarn and I like to cut it at this stage that's it and just put it through the loop like so okay so that's done and it might look funny at the start you know when you finish it like it's not straight but trust me it will straighten out in the end just like this one and just like all the others that I did for the bottom of the blanket um, I will then put a border all around with this same color there um, so when you skip the stitches it created stitches here that you can pick up when you do the border I don't know if you can see the stitches right there it just makes it easier to pick up to make the border I just think it's really neat and she has really explained this blanket just so amazingly I will try and zoom out to show you okay so this is it really this is just absolutely love it mine is going to be 36 by 36 and I've done three quarters of it now I just have to do a few more squares few more triangles and just the border and um, and also cut all the ends because there are so many apologies if these put you off well, this, you know, this just can't be helped. I think this is just an amazing project. I love it so much. I'm going to do another couple um, with different colors. Possibly a pram blanket is going to be smaller. Uh, there we are. And why not um, a cushion cover? That would be so nice as a cushion cover too. You can make the square smaller or bigger um so yeah i just absolutely love it so head over to um ladybug laboratory youtube channel because she's amazing if you like this tutorial please feel free to hit the like button and why not the subscription button um it would be so nice and also when you hit the subscription button you will also see that there's a bell next to my name and this will give you all the notifications for future videos and so on and so forth 
that would be really nice and you know what you can do you can also do the same for ladybug laboratory head over to her and like her videos subscribe share with your family and friends do whatever you want thank you very much for watching bye for now